Sustainable development has always been something that CIC has been interested in. I think, though, however, in the last 10 years, the, uh, the, the ante has gone up fairly substantially. Uh, it is the issue. And uh, CIC occupies a really important position because uh, the professions have to change. The professional institutions have to change. What's their club? It's the CIC. So the means for talking to one another is really the CIC, and it's the CIC to show leadership, which it is showing in a really spectacular way, uh, to get them to change. For instance, if you were to think about planning as uh, part of our lives, uh, it is to do with spatial planning, layouts, organisation, what you do, where, uh, and uh, dare I say it, what it might look like. Um, but actually, they need to now refocus or add in uh, the planning of energy, heat, water, waste, and a whole range of other things, which, as far as they're concerned, is uh, something they don't know anything about. So CIC is somehow going to have to help them and the other institutions make this change. And it is a challenge, a massive challenge for them, uh, but also one that I think is really interesting because one of the old original themes of CIC was uh, the idea of crossing boundaries. And in the early days, 10 years ago, we were talking about crossing boundaries as urban design became important. That was a crossing boundaries issue uh, because you, nobody can do it on their own. And the same with climate change, but in spades. It just is a huge issue. And we, the, if, put it this way, 85% of the houses that, we, that we're going to be living in in 2050 are already here. They don't work very well. So all the new buildings are actually going to have to heat and power those buildings if we're to get ourselves into a sustainable situation. That's a big challenge, but entirely understandable and imaginable. But if you were, and, and I dare say if you were a student entering any, uh, any, any discipline within the built environment, you would be interested in it. But there's a huge time lag with the colleges, the universities, the professions about what's expected. And that I think for CIC, it's a wonderful opportunity for CIC to fulfill its original mission of actually getting everybody to work together instead of doing their own thing in their own way.